Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of All About Websites. And today we're going to talk about whether you should spend the time and effort and energy in creating your own website or should you just outsource it. Now it's always a balance between spending time versus spending money. Creating your own website, even if you use a free platform, is never completely free. You are going to spend some time and energy trying to learn about websites. And you will have to put in that time and effort. So like with other things in life, there is no clear answer to should you create your own website or should you outsource it? The real answer is it depends. What does it depend on? It depends on what stage your business is at currently. How much free time do you have? to actually learn how to create your website? How quick and how good are you at creating your own, you know, learning technology? And how self-driven or self-motivated are you to make it happen, to continue at it when things get tough? Now, if you are in the early stages of business, and you're working on a budget, which means you don't have like tens and thousands, tens of thousands of dollars lying around in spare cash, then I really, I strongly recommend you create your own website because your business is still new. It is still evolving. You will, you know, over the next six months, you will be fine tuning your target market. You will be refining your packages and programs, and you will have to go back and update all of that on your website. You don't want to have to hire someone every time you want to change your prices or you want to change a couple of words or you want to change a couple of images. And every time you want to create a landing page for a new freebie, because heck, you are going to be creating quite a few freebies, especially in your early days, or rather, you're always going to have to create new freebies in your business, at least every quarter. So you want to be able to go in, know what to change, where to change, how to create a new landing page, how to check if a landing page isn't working, how to go and update your prices. You want to know how to be able to do all of that because you're going to have to do it over and over and over again. And having to rely on someone else to do it, uh, having to pay someone else to do it every time, uh, right? So if you're in the early stages of business and on a budget and you don't have tens of thousands of dollars lying around to pay someone else to keep making these changes for you, then please definitely learn how to create your own website. There are smarter ways of doing it. I'm going to get back to that in a minute. But if you have the money, if you have the spare money lying around, if you are already at that stage of business or that stage of life where it's easier and better for you to hire someone else, where you, your time, where the value of your time is more than you would pay someone else to do it for you, then please go hire someone to create your website. If you're already charging $500 an hour in your consulting business, it makes sense to pay someone $1,000 or $2,000 to create your website rather than spend 30 and 40 and 100 hours learning about your website, right? So if you're already at that stage where you're charging a few hundred dollars an hour, then just go ahead and outsource your website. Go and find someone who can, who won't just create it one shot but who can support you in the long run to keep making changes as you need okay so we talked about both things when you should create your website when you should outsource your website now if you want to learn about creating your own web if you want to create your own website there are a thousand you know you can do a simple google search and it will show up ten thousand ways to create your website for free Note that none of those methods is really free. Once you jump into it, you'll find out you have to pay for a domain, a hosting, or something else, or that you're losing control of your website in exchange for that free tag, okay? You will also have to learn 
if you're trying to do it all alone, you will have to learn a bunch of tech. You will have to learn about the platforms, whether it's WordPress, Squarespace, or a bunch of other things. You will have to learn around about copywriting. You will have to learn about branding and a whole lot of other things, design, layouts, those kind of things. Now you could go and try and look up a course for each one of them, or you have two options. One, if you're still in the very early stages and you haven't yet tried out jumping in and creating your own website, okay, if you're still testing the waters, exploring stuff, then come join me for the website planning party, which is a free five-day challenge where I'll help you map out exactly what to have on your website, how to have the copy, how to have the layouts, what tech to use. It's a free five-day challenge to help you map out your entire website. I will share the link in the comments below. Uh, let me just quickly do that right now. Okay, here's the link to the website planning party, free five day event to help you map out everything about your website. And yes, if you know other women who benefit from it, especially women solopreneurs, then please send them the link, get them to sign up, come join us for this free five day website planning party to help you map out what to write on your homepage, what to write on your about page, your praise page, your work with me page, how to, you know, how to structure them for maximum conversion and things like that. And how to do it all with ease, with fun. The website planning party, come join us. For those of you, and for those of you who are a bit more advanced in your journey, if you've tried messing around with WordPress and Squarespace or Wix or Weebly, and you just can't get your website to look the way you want, then come check out the website bootcamp. Now this is a four week group program where I help you, where I install all of the tech for you. I install WordPress plus DV plus all of the plugins plus all of the pages. That's, I do all the tech heavy lifting for you. And then you get guided videos to help you through everything from creating your brand to writing your copy to going in and editing your pages every single step of the way. If you are interested in that kind of support, that level of support to create your website so that you have it all in one place, everything from the branding, copywriting, as well as editing, with all of the tech heavy lifting done for you, come join us in the website bootcamp. Okay, put both, I've put both those links in the comments. Go check them out. You don't have to do this alone. You don't have to struggle with creating your own website. There are easier ways of doing it. Check out the website planning party and the website bootcamp. I'm here to support you on this journey. Don't do it alone. Don't struggle with it alone. Till next time. Keep shining and I will see you on the next episode of All About Websites. Till next time. Bye-bye.